Thanks, Angela. Oops. Thanks, Angela. Um, hi, everyone. It's nice to, uh, to see you all here today. Um, my name is Laura Combs. I'm the Client Services Manager at JBS here in San Francisco. Um, I'll be sharing my screen in just a second, um, but very briefly, uh, JVS stands for Jewish Vocational Services. Um, however, I want to highlight we serve everyone, uh, regardless of um, religious or any sort of other affiliations. Um, that's sometimes a confusing thing, so I like to just start off with that for people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. Um, there will be time at the end if you have questions, um, but please feel free to also place your questions in the chat. Um, and we'll start with those questions after the presentation, and then we'll move to time for people to ask questions verbally. Let me just pull my... Okay, great. Um, so one of the main things that JVS does is we work to build in-demand job skills and make connections for people within the Bay Area to find employment. Uh, we work with adults of all ages, and we also serve um, high schoolers through one of our or through our programs that run in the San Francisco Unified School District. Uh, as we all know, the pandemic has been incredibly stressful for many people, both many people losing employment, having a difficult time finding employment, and um, also many people choosing to change and move to new jobs. This is something that JBS has a lot of experience with. Um, we've been working with people for almost 50 years and 80,000 people to help them build in demand um, skills and find work. We have actually gone through five recessions in the almost 50 years that we've been working and we've continued to adapt to changing economies and skills trainings, including uh, when the pandemic hit last, early last year, we pivoted everything to be virtual. Um, so uh, we're very quick to adapt when things change and when things need to be adjusted. We have an entire department that focuses on a uh, strategy of job searching to make sure that we're providing the right sorts of supports and um, the right sorts of programs for our interested clients. An important note um, to even just underline uh, one of the programs that Angela mentioned, uh, the LinkedIn program. We do find that over 50% of jobs come from either personal or professional networks. Um, so our core focus at JVS is people working together in a cohort. All of our programs run on a cohort, cohortized basis. Um, so what that means is you're with the same group of people throughout the time that you're in the program with the hope that you build connections with them and stay connected with them even after the program ends. This is for your own you know, personal, like to maybe have some friends who have been through the same experience, but also because we know this, that over 50% um, come from personal or professional networks. Um, so that's why I really want to also underline uh, LinkedIn as an important tool that we utilize heavily at JVS. Uh, we make sure that people know how to use, and I really recommend that you check out the workshop that the library is going to be doing as well. So um, basically, how do we do what we do? Um, we make sure that clients are at the center of all that we do, which includes create understanding which new specific skills trainings we should have, what on the job training opportunities we should offer, who we connect with when it comes to employers, what that ongoing job search support and mentorship can look like. And also we do extensive labor market analysis to see that the training programs that we're offering are things that are actually going to be in demand, not just right now, but five years, maybe even 10 years from now. So we ensure that our clients have a career path um, that will sustain them well outside of the time that they're working with us. Um, the job search process, um, as I'm sure many of you know, is definitely difficult. Um, some of the things we hear people saying is they feel like their resume isn't going anywhere. Um, that entry-level jobs require you to have experience. So are they actually entry-level? Um, and that a lot of jobs, especially during the pandemic, have been requiring new tech skills um, that people may not have. 
So these questions and more are all things that we address within our programs to better support clients. This could be in our short-term programs, our one-time programs, and even our long-term programs. We focus on all of these in some way. And so I'll explain that a little bit when I talk more about our programs. So if you have been um, off the job market for quite some time, uh, or you're not able to commit to a full-time program, we do offer standalone job search workshops. So these workshops last oftentimes two or two and a half hours. They happen every week, um, well, every other week for the same program. So there's a two week cadence. You can attend as many or as little as you like. Um, we have, I believe, five different program or five different workshops, including a resume uh, revamp workshop that express explains how you can get your resume revamped and what things people are looking for. We have an interviewing um, during Zoom. Uh, interviewing on Zoom this way is new and has been new for many people in the last year and a half. So we created a workshop specifically around how to present yourself through Zoom. We also offer LinkedIn workshops. Um, and we also offer a workshop called how to identify your target job. So if you're kind of in flux, you're not totally sure where you wanna go next, um, then we do offer a workshop that supports you in figuring out what your next uh, step could be. The last workshop I wanna highlight is a chat with a career coach, um, which is listed on here. So this is a little bit different than our other workshops in that there's not a PowerPoint. It's actually an opportunity for you and a small group of other people to ask direct questions to our career coach, which normally for a one-on-one -on -one session with him costs a little over $100. So this gives you an opportunity to actually ask those questions to a professional who's been in the, you know, been in the career coaching world for 35 or 40 years um, and get an answer for free with a small group of people around you as well. Um, I'll navigate to the website and show you all where you can sign up for this, um, but you will also have access to the slide deck and you can click on the links directly from the slide deck. Next, um, if you know what your job is that you really wanna do and you have the skills to do that job, but you are struggling with finding, like getting your foot in the door or you need a little bit more fine tuning and support on your resume, your interviewing skills, then the next program that I would really recommend is our Job Search Accelerator program. So this program is a two week long program that focuses specifically on job search skills so things such as resume, interviewing, networking, um, cover letters, and uh, like elevator pitches. It's a really fantastic program. Um, we offer it um, either every month or every other month. So it's off offered pretty consistently. And we continue to offer support through a uh, cohort Slack channel. Um, so if you're not familiar with Slack, you will learn how to use it in this program um, as a tool that many workplaces are utilizing. And in Slack, you create, continue to create the connections within your cohort, as well as previous cohorts of um, Job Search Accelerator. And you can share information, you can share tips, and you can also um, share job leads um, and successes once you get a job. The next pieces that we'll highlight are the three um, types of pathways that we offer for people who are looking to build a new skill. We, um, these programs offer this training. Some of them also offer on the job paid experience and they all also offer ongoing job search support. We have programs in the healthcare field, the technology field, and also the skilled trades, um, the utilities field. And we'll talk about all those in just, just a minute. So some of our healthcare training programs um, include, uh, but there are a few extras, but the main ones that we offer are the medical administrative assistant program. So this is a classroom training with a paid um, internship at the end. This is a partnership with oftentimes UCSF or Kaiser. The next is the medical assistant certification. So this is a little bit more hands-on working uh, directly with patients. This also includes a classroom training and a paid internship 
This is also a partnership either with UCSF or Kaiser. And lastly, we have our dental assistant training program, similar in that it has a classroom training and a paid internship at the end. The difference here is that our dental assistant program is offered all throughout the Bay Area. So we offer it in San Francisco, we offer it in Contra Costa County, and we also offer it in Alameda County, which means that your internship placement um, is in one of those locations, which may be more convenient for you if you aren't living in San Francisco. Um, which is contrast to the other two programs of which are located here in San Francisco. I wanna note that each program, um, healthcare, technology or otherwise, all have their own eligibility requirements, which um, means that the best thing to do is to check out the website to see what eligibility requirements are for that program. Um, again, when I show the website, I'll show where you can find the information for the eligibility requirements, but I do wanna note um, that the best thing that you can do is make sure to check out the website before um, and read it pretty extensively before completing your application, just to make sure that you are eligible and that it's a program you have the time to dedicate to. Um, another quick note here on our healthcare programs. Um, while JVS continues to work virtually 90% um, of the time, our healthcare programs do have an in-person component um, namely the internships, but some of the training as well, depending on uh, what needs to be in person versus what can happen virtually. So that is an important thing to note um, in terms of both commute as well as safety as we continue um, to move fo forward within the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, next, uh, we'll talk about our technology programs. So we do offer a data analytics training program. Uh, this is in partnership with a data um, company called Springboard. We offer a Salesforce administrative program. Um, so Salesforce is an online database in which we offer, uh, um, and we offer training in how to become a Salesforce administrator, which is kind of the first step for many other skills within Salesforce. And we also offer a bookkeeping certification program. Um, the bookkeeping offers two different programs. One is the bookkeeping uh, fundamentals. So that's if you've never done bookkeeping before and you're looking to um, learn QuickBooks and kind of really get your, your um, hands wet in understanding bookkeeping. The other program we offer is a refresher program. So that is for people who have already had some amount of experience in QuickBooks or bookkeeping and just haven't done it in some time and are really looking to rebuild those skills. Um, so both of those are offered. Another program that isn't listed on here, um, but is currently going to begin soon is the IT Help Desk program. So that is a program specifically um, in support of people having an entry level technology program um, or employment, and then with the ability to move forward following IT. And lastly, um, we'll talk about our skilled trades pre-apprenticeship programs. Um, these programs are a little different in that they are partnerships with um, local community colleges. So these are community colleges both in the East Bay area, um, so Contra Costa, Alameda County, as well as in San Francisco. They, um, these programs work on the same schedule as the colleges, so they oftentimes run fall through, um, through summer. There is some um, amount of flexibility sometimes depending on the program. Um, some programs run twice a year in that they run fall semester and then again, spring semester. Um, but do note that these programs run in the same sort of um, like uh, calendar as an academic calendar uh, that the community colleges follow. This program also will support people in getting prepped to take any exams that they need to take for the utilities or trades programs. And um, many of them also offer a, uh, an internship at the end, including a job, potential job placement with one of our partners in the Bay Area. 
And I see in the chat, thank you, Angela, for putting in the, the links directly as well. So um, the Job Search Accelerator and all of our pathway programs do have some basic requirements of eligibility in addition to the certain eligibilities for each program. Uh, first, I wanna note all of our programs are free. Um, so all of these programs are provided at no cost to the client. Um, our programs do require that you are 18 years and older to be in our program. You must be eligible to work within the United States and you also have to have proof of vaccination against COVID-19 or um, be able to be granted an exception based on medical or religious exemption, which does require um, documentation from a medical professional or a, um, or a religious institute. The uh, reason for particularly the vaccination proof is um, one, we do provide, as I said, some amount of programming in person, the healthcare programs, for instance, um, and two, we are also beginning to see that many uh, workplaces are requiring vaccination um, against COVID, even if those are not in-person supports um, or programs. And this is just to confirm that people are going to be eligible um, for employment post the pandemic by approving this vaccination. So this is a requirement that we have added just over the last um, couple months, um, and it will continue to be a requirement uh, for the foreseeable future. As I mentioned, um, additional eligibility will vary across programs, and each program webpage will share out the requirement details. Um, I do see there's a question in the chat about how often the, uh, the IT help specifically training program begins. That's a great question. And for all of these programs, um, I will say that the most common is that they run about twice a year due to staffing. Some run more often than others. For instance, the bookkeeping and the dental assistant program both run um, every about two or three months. But the Salesforce, the IT, data analytics, medical assistant, and medical um, administrative assistant all run about every six or so months, um, depending on uh, contracts and various other things. When I navigate to the website, I will show you how you can sign up to be notified when new applications open. I wanna just briefly touch on um, our high school programs. Um, it is a bit different, uh, but we do, as I mentioned earlier, have a high school bridge program. So this is where JBS partners uh, with San Francisco Unified School District in order to support uh, SFUSD students in getting job search skills um, and job and on the job training, including uh, work based learning and paid summer internships. So our website um, does show what our programs are. Um, and if you happen to have a high school student who's interested in a work based learning opportunity, um, the best thing for them to do is to speak with their counselor at SFUSD. Um, or they can also reach out to us and we can provide them with the information on who to contact at their specific school. And finally, um, this is the only program that we offer. So this is our fee-based career coaching. Um, our career coach uh, is fantastic. As I said, he's been for 35 or 40 years, um, been doing career coaching, he's wonderful. Uh, he has oftentimes helped people kind of clarify what it is that they're looking to do, think about if they need to transition their careers and uh, help them kind of talk through any issues they may be having either at work or while they're in their job search. This is the um, only program that costs money to the client at JBS and it is $120 per 55 minute session. So again, if this is not something that you can feasibly afford, um, I absolutely recommend you sign up for our chat with a career coach workshop. Um, that is offered every two weeks, and you can find that information. I'll show you where to sign up for it um, from the website. I think, yes. So um, some of our next steps, and I'll show these all on the website as well, is um, to look through our programs that we offer online. I'll show you the website soon. You can also sign up for our mailing list, and you'll be notified when new training applications open, when new workshops open. 
And finally, if you have any questions, you can send us an email at info at jvs.org. Um, I will say with all of us working remotely, if you do decide that you would like to call, please make sure that when you call, you leave a voicemail, um, a detailed voicemail with your name, your phone number, um, and the reason for your call so we can make sure we forward it to the correct person. Um, it is very difficult working virtually for us to have someone monitoring the front desk phone at all times. So please make sure that you leave voicemails. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop my share and move um, on to showing the website. And then uh, we'll take some time for any additional questions that people may have. Okay, um, so this is our website. Um, it's a little zoomed in, but um, I wanna make sure everybody can see it. So when you log into, um, you go to jvs.org, um, it will look like this. And you'll see here um, the skills training, which Angela linked. Um, there's this is JVS for me. So this is actually a virtual welcome session, very similar to what I'm currently doing. But if you wanted to rewatch it, um, in addition to seeing it on the uh, library's YouTube. This is uh, getting some advice. Um, so there is some information here, both for their career coaching, but there's also some resources that people have found really helpful. There's some information on motivation, on ageism and job search questions that people have. And lastly, we also have a job board. Um, so you can actually click this browse jobs and uh, it will give you access to um, a job board that people have sent us in things that they would like us to post. Um, so to just show a little bit about the navigation of here at skills training, um, as that is where all of our programs are. So you see when I hover over it, it does have a drop down, um, and you can also hover over which uh, department you're interested in, and you can see the different trainings that are offered. So you'll see here there's a lot more trainings than what I highlighted in the um, slide deck. So please make sure that you take a look and check out some of the other programs. Same with technology, and then same with utilities. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the job search workshops and I can show you all how to sign up for those um, free workshops that don't require an application. And then I'll show you how to sign up for um, one of our programs and to navigate the web page. So again, you go to this drop down and then you click job search workshops right here. And um, there's some little info here, but as you scroll down, you'll see the different programs that we, or the different workshops that we offer, each with a little um, quick, what is it? And then to sign up, um, all you'll do is you'll click this RSVP right here. And it will take you to a registration page um, that is through Eventbrite. And then it will ask for your name um, and your email, and it will send you the confirmation. You will also receive an email um, a couple of days ahead of time to remind you and an email the morning of that provides you with the link as well. So please make sure that you check your confirmation um, email for the link. 99% of the time it's in there. Um, and if it's not, then on the day of the morning of, you will also receive an email that includes that link. And again, you can sign up for as many of these as you'd like. Um, you can sign up for just one and you're more than welcome to go to another, um, another one as well, if you would like. Um, next for our training programs, um, I'll show you kind of what one of the web pages looks like. So let's go to the dental assistant program. So here's, there's information about what the program looks like, what the program is. Um, you'll see that it includes here information about that it's half online versus half in person. There's details on the right-hand side about the dates of the program, including um, the times that is expected and where it's expected. So this, is in Ber this will be in Berkeley. Eligibility that is required um, to be in this program. So You'll see some of this eligibility is similar to the general eligibility. You have to be 18 and older. 
Um, you need to be eligible to work within the United States and you need to provide vaccination proof of COVID-19. Um, but you'll also see there's other additional eligibility as well. So this is what I mean when I say each program has its own eligibility. So to make sure to look at the website to ensure that these are, um, that you're eligible for these programs. Many of our web pages also have a video that explains a little bit more about the program and how to do your application. And if the applications are open, it will tell you right here that applications are now open and you just click this button here and it'll take you directly to the application. Most applications do require you to attach your resume as well. Um, you won't be necessarily, like your resume can be in not great shape and that's okay. Um, we do just require a resume as part of our um, application process for most programs. So this is what it looks like if a program is accepting applications. If a program is not accepting applications, then it um, will still show you the last um, information from the program, the eligibility, but it will tell you in this block again that applications are now closed and invite you to sign up for our email list to be notified when new programs open. So if you click this yellow button again, this learn more button, it will take you to our newsletter sign up and you can sign up here. Um, you can click all of these or you can leave this blank or you can click just the one um, sort of focus that you're looking for. But uh, this will make sure that you're on our mailing list and you'll be notified when new applications open for programs. Um, and then also, if you're interested, you can scroll down and you can oftentimes see who many of our instructors are for that program. Um, and lastly, let me show you all the job board that we have. So up here, if you press browse jobs, then you'll see a couple of the programs that are, or a couple of the jobs are us, <laughs> um, but also many are other um, places as well. So again, these are some of our partners who have asked that um, they have the ability to post on our job board. So you can also check out our job board. You don't need to be a client to do this. Um, anybody is welcome to check out the job board that we have. Um, that is all of the information that I have that I was um, going to share. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop my share and um, move into questions. So I do see that there is one question in the chat. Um, JVS works with the unemployed. How can I see if one of the programs qualifies for training with EDD? That is a fantastic question. Um, to do that, you do need to see if um, the program qualifies with the California training benefit. Um, I don't necessarily uh, have the time to go through and show you that right now, um, but I will say that if you Google um, California training benefit through EDD, you should be able to see um, kind of how, where you can find if a program is eligible. Um, many of our programs are eligible for the California training benefit um, through, the, uh, through EDD, but not all. Um, so I definitely recommend, um, there's a database that they use, like a search base that they use. Um, and from there, you can search like JVS and it'll show up. Um, unfortunately, I just don't have that handy right now, but um, many of our programs do qualify for it. Um, other questions? Feel free to unmute if you guys have any questions. I have allowed you guys to unmute now. Great. Uh, yeah, I'd like to ask you a brief question, Laura. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to chat, you have a workshop where a career coach is available as well. So if you can't afford the $100, then that's an option as well to be yes. part of that workshop. Okay. Exactly. And that's a small group. So it wouldn't be one on one, um, but it's oftentimes a group of like six to eight people. Um, and so you kind of ask your question within the group. Um, but many people find that the questions are similar ones to that they have. Um, for instance, regarding not getting callbacks or confidence in job searching, things of that nature, oftentimes come up within the group as well. One other thing, do you have a range of ages uh, that you that you deal with as well? I know that uh, 
David uh, Robbins actually had a great workshop. Then he was saying that there was a woman who was 72 who just got a great job. And I thought it was great. She had a learner's mentality, you know, a learner's mind. Yeah. So I just, yeah, I've been yeah. working for a long time. So great. Yeah. Yeah. We work with people of all, um, all adults. <laughs> Great. Um, we have some people in our programs who are 18, 19, and we have others in our program who have been in the workforce um, for many, many years. So. Thank you, Laura. Of course. Yep. Seems like a very great group. <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions? I don't see. Does anyone have any more questions you like to ask? Can we see this presentation again as well? Yes, this presentation is recorded, so I'll be sending it out uh, with the survey later today. <laughs> Great. Yes, and I'll also be sharing the uh, the slide deck with Angela, um, and she can share it with you all as well. All right, if no one has any other questions, we can end the, the presentation early and I'll return the time back to you guys. Thank you, Laura, for coming by and introducing your fantastic organization with all these programs that are very beneficial for job seekers. And I would also like to thank everyone for joining us. Uh, I hope you found this presentation informative and helpful to you. I will be sending the PowerPoint slides and the recording out later today, along with a survey. And I would really appreciate it if you guys take the time out of your day to fill out the survey so that we can continue to prove, improve our programs. With that, I'd like to thank everyone and goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.